हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ नितिन कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड इंजीनियरिंग निफ्टम कुंडली वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन ए ट्रेनिंग मॉड्यूल ऑन कोल्ड चेन लॉजिस्टिक फंडेड बाय जीआई जेड एंड ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय सीआईआई एंड निफ्टम टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रीजिंग एंड चिलिंग दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस एंड प्रोसेस फूड after this module you may able to define the definition of freezing then method of freezing and their uses you can able to define the chilling process as well as the type and method of chilling what is freezing freezing is a process of reducing the temperature of a food product generally to minus 18 degree centigrade or below in which water present in the food material is converted to solid form to reduce water availability for microbes growth and this will result into the shelf life enhancement of the food product microbial growth ceases below minus 2 degree centigrade but tamiter reactions continue till minus 18 degree centigrade so to retard the microbial growth and tamiter changes freezing is done at temperature minus 18 degree centigrade or below so certain fruits like uh, orange strawberry raspberry or vegetables like green pea uh, beans sweet corns are the commercially frozen product the process of freezing during the process of freezing sensible heat is first removed to lower down the temperature of a product to its freezing point thereafter latent heat of crystallization is removed to convert the water molecule into the ice crystal In the case of fresh produce heat of respiration is also involved and has to be removed during the process of freezing so considerable amount of energy is needed for the process of freezing it means external work uh, done need to be applied through a system to extract the sensible as well as a latent heat during the process of freezing Most of the fruits and vegetable contains high percentage of water around 80 to 90% and possesses the high uh, specific heat and latent heat of crystallization that is 4.2 kJ per kg kelvin and 335 kJ per kg respectively so considerable amount of energy is needed for the process of freezing There are two process one is slow freezing and one is fast or rapid freezing the presents like give us some basic difference among these i have listed down certain parameters for the comparison like definitions temperature velocity of circulating air ice crystal time required and cell damage it is very much clear from this slide that cell damage is high in case of slow freezing because uh, ice crystal formations will be of bigger size if the process of freezing is slow compared to the rapid freezing or fast freezing or blast freezing the temperature range in fast freezing is minus 18 degree centigrade to minus 40 degree centigrade as well as in fast freezing to achieve uh, fast freezing there is a um, velocity of air that is the cold air circulations with a speed of 1.5 to 6 meter per second so Uh, overall the food product are exposed to low temperature and long time for freezing in case of slow freezing compared to the fast freezing where the freezing will be done at uh, less amount of time that is 2 to 4 hours this picture give us a clear understanding about the slow and fast freezing with respect to the formation of ice crystal faster the food freezes smaller the crystal formations will be there A small crystal do less damage to the cell wall and slow freezing produce large ice crystal that punch through the cell membrane as a result when food with large ice crystal thaw and there is a more dripping and loss of liquids method of freezing are listed here like cooled air freezer air blast freezer or fluidized bed freezer then liquid cooled freezer in which product is immersed into a liquid refrigerant then another one is contact freezer plate freezer strap surface freezer other type of freezing techniques are also very popular like cryogenic freezing or individual quit freezing 
The first one is tooled air freezing. In tooled air freezing, a magnetal refrigeration system like vapor compression refrigeration system or vapor absorption refrigeration system generated tooled air which is used to extract the heat from the food product. In this, the air comes in contact with the freezing product and extract the heat with the mode of heat conversions. Example of tooled air freezings are air blast freezer or fluidized bed freezers. Air blast freezing. In air blast freezing, the product is frozen using the force circulating cold air at a temperature of around minus 18 to minus 40 degrees centigrade. It is most commonly used freezing method due to its temperature stability for several products. Velocity of circulating air is between 1.5 to 6.5 meter per second. In this picture, you can see the air movement uh, throughout the cabinet in an air blast freezer. For effective and efficient operations of air blast freezer, following instructions are recommended. Point number one load the product in freezing room once the room temperature fall to the product safe storage temperature otherwise the product will face some thermal sort or chilling injury for efficient air circulation enough space is provided between product to product and between product to wall and tray so that there is no stickiness of the product Third point, always store the product on the trolleys. Point number four, use product of a smaller thickness for effective and quick freezing. Actually, it increases the rate of heat transfer as per the Fourier law. Avoid opening of door during the process of freezing. Don't use the freezer for chilling the hot product. Unnecessarily, it will extend the load. Cleaning of interior of freezing room frequently, it will enhance the efficiency of a freezer. Cleaning or de-steering of the condenser at least twice a year. Next uh, freezer is fluidized bed freezer in which the air temperature is minus 25 to minus 35 degree centigrade and the product thickness is 2 to 13 centimeter only shape and size of a food material determines the thickness and velocity of air so basically the thickness of a product will determine the uh, velocity of air as well as the keeping time in a freezer the velocity of air in general is between 2 to 6 meter per second for achieving fluidization you can see in this picture that uh, product are in suspension state or in fluidization state the air is coming from the bottom and it gradually achieve the frozen conditions in this freezer air is forced in upward directions through the perforated belt or tray which in turn lift the food material and hold it into the suspension position that is the fluidization thus food material comes under greater content of freezing air and enhance the freezing efficiency. Tooled liquid freezer uses liquid as a medium for heat exchange during the direct contact with food material and extract the heat and freezes food. The first one is immersion freezing. It is important tooled liquid freezer in which food is pass through the bath of a refrigeration solution resulting in a freezing of a food product. Solutions such as propylene glycol, brine glycol or calcium chloride are used for freezing. In this picture you can see the foods are coming from one side and it emerges into a uh, bath of refrigerant and then coming out from the uh, refrigerant bath. It freezes during the course of uh, movement now I will tell you what is the brine solution. Brine means uh, we uh, added some amount of uh, salt like uh, calcium salt or sodium salt uh, in a water to depress the freezing point of water. In this type of freezer, 
the surface of freezer is cooled by refrigerant flowing in it the food material is placed on a freezer surface which extracts heat from the food material through the mod mode of heat conduction plate freezer strap surface freezer it is a example of a cooled surface freezer the first one is plate freezer which is a consist of a horizontal or vertical series of hollow plates through which refrigerant flowing at about minus 40 degrees centigrade the product is pressed between two plates and heat transfer from the product to the refrigerant uh, through conduction as well as a convection by the freezer surface and the product is hold for a certain duration as a resulting of a freezing of food product vertical plate freezer are suitable for the viscous product like orange juice and horizontal plate freezers are used for packaged food product like the vegetable fish meat slab sandwiches for effective freezing a single thin layer product are placed under the plates this is to improve the heat transfer rate this type of freezer is suitable for slab type of product uh, in this uh, picture you can see the configuration of plate freezer where there are different types of uh, plates are assembled and the product are placed in between the plates and refrigerant flows in, inside the plates only a strap surface freezer these freezer are used for liquid and semi liquid food product like ice cream or ice flats it consists of a freezer baler high speed motor fitted within the baler along with a blades just uh, in the picture you can see the blades are attached with the rotors and in a strap surface freezer freezing is very fast about 50% water is frozen within few seconds fast freezing result in the formation of very small ice crystal which gives a smooth and uniform consistency of the product individual quit freezing which works on the principle of fluidized bed freezing in which the product is suspended in a enclosure contain high velocity cooled air air is maintained at a temperature of minus 30 to minus 40 degrees centigrade during the process the product is is supplied through conveyor belt in case of continuous process and tray are used in case of batch process as you can see in the picture number uh, 10 uh, where fluid fluidization is uh, shown here and in case of picture number 11 individual quit freezers are uh, deputed in which uh, the product is will goes inside the chamber with a conveyor belt and comes out as a freeze product once the product reaches the enclosed surface the fluidized bed is maintained all the surface of a product come in contact with the refrigerated air and hence there is a greater rate of heat transfer the whole process of freezing in individual quit freezing takes about 20 to 30 minutes only iqf is very suitable for most of the food product which is commercially available like french fry peas sweet corns strawberries raspberries corn chicken beef etc freezing of fruits freezing of fruit is one of the important method for preservation further it retain the high quality of fruits over long term storage steps involved in a fruit freezing are mentioned here as per fao guidelines selections of raw material raw material is very import, important for the in product better the quality of raw material better the keeping quality of the finished product and better the uh, freezing process fruit should be free from any diseases pest or insect attacks further it should be uniformly ripened primary processing include washing cleaning cutting and slicing of fruits to retard the browning of fruits as per with acid used 3 next step is blanching and the objective of blanching is to inactivate the enzyme generally blanching is carried out at a temperature below 100 degrees centigrade next is addition of sugar syrup which is very important step prior to the freezing of fruits 
addition of sugar reduces osmotic pressure of a solution which absorbs the water from the fruit cell consequently high concentration of solute goes inside the cell and reduces the freezing point of a cell sugar syrup of concentration between 30 to 60% is generally used to cover the food completely it creates barrier for oxygen transmission as well as browning you might have been observed when you open a can of pineapple there is some amount of sugar syrup in it or sometimes hard syrup based on the commodity freezing facilities available different freezing methods such as air blast freezer plate freezer individual plate freezing method is used next is packaging to reduce the browning of fruits frozen fruits are packed by excluding the air from the packaging material oxygen is replaced by sugar solution or inert gases and oxygen impermeable packaging material are generally used for packaging of frozen food plastic bags and cans are mostly used uh, packaging material for frozen fruits frozen products are stored below minus 18 degrees centigrade which helps into the preservation of quality and shelf life of a food product the very important uh, parameter is freezing time and in freezing process product cold temperature has to be reach to minus 18 degrees centigrade freezing time is based on the product size and other factor time required for freezing depends on the following the types of food then thickness of a food product product incoming temperature types of freezer used and the freezing temperature generally 100 mm and below thickness food are used for freezing the average time required for freezing of food products are given in this slide you can see the belt freezer requires only 20 to 30 minutes and in case of cryogenic freezing it will take only 1 minutes itf takes 5 to 10 minutes in compared to the air blast freezer or plate freezers storage of frozen foods during the transportation storage and distribution of frozen food products low temperature has to be maintained throughout the transportation throughout the distributions for maintaining the high quality product generally storage temperature is maintained at minus 18 degrees centigrade or below temperature maintained in supply of frozen food in cold room temperature minus 18 degrees centigrade then in distribution channel the temperature shall be minus 15 degrees centigrade and in retail store the temperature has to be maintained below minus 12 degrees centigrade as per national horticulture board based on the commodity they have given us a storage temperature plus humidity combination for achieving certain shelf life one of the example i can take from here that butter has to be preserved uh, at minus 23 degrees centigrade with a humidity of 70 to 85 degrees centigrade for a shelf life of 12 to 20 months next process is chilling chilling is a process of rapid cooling of raw milk to sufficient low temperature to check the growth of microorganism in the process of chilling temperature of milk is reduced below 3 to 4 degrees centigrade when milk is present inside the udder of animal it is almost sterile or safe after melting it comes into the contact of outside environment like uh, uh, animal udder dust then dirt food or atmospheric air and melting equipments are the source of contamination for milk milk contains all the nutrients not for human being for microbes also that's why they grow rapidly when they enters inside the milk this biochemical changes in the milk and the tipping quality of the milk is adversely affected therefore chilling is necessary to inhibits the growth of microorganism we can achieve chilling with the help of plate chiller or a bulk milk cooler in case of plate chiller which is mostly used in a dairy industries on commercial basis 
several stainless steel plate of SS316L are assembled together in a steel frame. Plate is a counter current heat exchanger which has two inlets and two outlets respectively for the entry and exit of milk as well as the refrigerant. Ammonia is a refrigerant used for chilling of water and the water is used for chilling of milk. Generally holding times varies with the capacity, the number of the plates and the dimensions of the plates. In general, 1000 liter per hour capacity plate chiller has holding time about 10 to 12 seconds. This method of chilling is more hygienic and more efficient. You can see the uh, picture of plate chiller here that is actually the plate heat exchanger and plate heat exchanger is utilized for heating as well as chilling purpose both. So in case of uh, uh, chilling the red lines indicate for raw milk or pasteurized milk and uh, the blue line indicates for chilled water line. The another equipment which uh, reduces the temperature of milk but takes more time in compared to the uh, PHE. This is a batch type process and this is known as a bulk milk cooler in which a magnetic refrigeration system is used to cool the milk. The method is suitable for handling 500 liter or 2500 liter of milk per day. This BMC is available at uh, milk society or chilling society for dairy cooperatives. Agitator is provided for uniform cooling of milk. Bulk milk cooler cools the milk up to the temperature of 4 degrees centigrade and to avoid heat dissipation, insulation is provided between inner and external wall of a bulk milk cooler. It uses vertical or horizontal cylindrical tank with inner jacket and insulated body on outside. Tank is made of stainless steel, precisely SS304 and refrigeration system which used uh, for chilling down the milk is actually uh, consists of reciprocating compressor, thermostatic expansion valve and air cool condenser. Further, refrigeration coils or evaporator is installed in the bottom and side of a tank between the inner and outer layers of a tank which is responsible for the cooling of milk. So in conclusion, freezing and chilling are two important operations in cold chain. Freezing maintains quality as well as a shelf life of a perishable food product for longer durations. It preserves the texture, flavor, nutrients of a perishable product. Chilling is widely used in dairy industries as well as the uh, juice industries for cooling down and it helps to transport liquid like milk or juices from remote point to the processing center which increases the tipping quality of milk. For better understanding uh, you can refer these references. I hope uh, this lecture will give you some understanding about the freezing process and uh, chilling process the types of uh, freezing and chilling mechanism as well as the applications of freezing in horticulture industries as a application of chilling in dairy industries. Thank you.